Hey everybody, this is Tembiot and I'm back with February's Loot Crate, which th its theme is play. So I actually have not opened this yet, so I ha have no idea what's in it. So um, you'll be checking it out with me as I open it up. So. All right. <laughs> Looks like the inside is a uh, is a little game board. So uh, let's see who we got in here. We have a mini mummy, uh, which you can has it has wipe off markers. It allows you to uh, draw and such on it. And then you can then wipe it off. So it's a, it's a loot, crate, loot crate exclusive. Oh, it's money world. Okay, mini money. Um, you can draw on money. You can paint on money. Use pens, pencils, or crayons on money. Make things to put on money's hands. Make hats to put on money's head. Or you can just leave money alone and keep money next to you for company. And then, yeah, comes with a couple of markers. It's <laughs> very top heavy. It's cool. So, design and customize your own little figure. Uh, comes with a hex bug. Scarab, huh? <laughs> dice bag with it feels like some dice in there. Um. Oh, paper, rock, scissors, dice. Okay. I'm trying to figure that out. I was like, two paper, rock, scissors, dice. Okay. Um, what is this? Super Fight, the Loot Crate Edition. Hmm. There's a 100 card version of this Faro card game. A super Fight designed exclusively for Loot Crate by Skybound. Uh, these cards are only available in this exclusive deck. Create hilarious fighters with these cards, then argue over who would win in a fight between them. I'll have to open that in just a little bit. Uh, This oh here's the button for the crate play. It actually has uh looks like Monopoly on it and it has some of the uh paper rock scissors dice. Wow. It's got a book in it. Uh ready player one. Huh. In the year 2044, reality is an ugly place. The only time Teenage Wade Watts really feels alive is when he's jacked into the virtual utopia known as the Oasis. Wade's devoted his life to studying the puzzles hidden within the world's digital confines. Puzzles that are based on our creator's obsession with top culture from decades past and that promise massive power and fortune to whoever can unlock them. But when Wade stumbles upon the first clue, he finds himself beside many players willing to kill to take this ultimate prize. The race is on, and if Wade's going to survive, he'll have to win and confront the world he's always been so desperate to escape. Okay. All right. Maybe interesting. <laughs> it's like towers of RVs and stuff. Huh. Um, what is this? Looks like a mini poster. What is this a mini poster of? Um. So 
So this is a looks like a Pat, Pat Pan cartridge for an Atari. Um, it has like the sticker design, and then the cartridge, and then the game actually inside of it, and then the the board and the chip and and, and such in the back of the, uh, the thing. This is pretty interesting. Maybe I'll put this up on my cubicle at work. So. And, let's see here. And there is Oh, so this is the instructions for the uh, for the package. So you use the rock paper scissors dice for um, for one through three, and then you have this T-shirt. There's no T-shirt in there. First official board game. The goal is simple: be the first player to have all five items in your crate. Uh, use the paper rock scissors dice to determine who will make the first move. Once the first player is chosen, continue using paper, rock, scissors, dice, dice with the numerical values uh, to move your game token. Land on a star, pick up one item, land on a circle, dice, dice, battle, paper, rock, scissors, another player to steal one of his items uh, that you're missing. Be careful, if, you, if they win the dice battle, they get one of your items. If your opponent doesn't have an item you need, uh, you must return one of your items to the item palette. You can collect one that you need. Okay, so apparently they return one item to the palette, and then you can collect an item that you need. Okay, so you return one of their items and then pick up an item that you need. There's no finish line. Just continue to move around the board until someone completes a crate of five items. Just follow the directional errors and make sure to ride the conveyor belt to an item if you land on the blue arrows. All right, I'll have to look at that in just a little bit. There's also a um, Firefly Online concept art card. Is there anything on the back? Oh, okay, so this is basically, this is for a, uh, a, special, uh, a special ship, a special loot crate ship. Hmm. So you can like register it, and I guess maybe you win this ship right here, or you can get that ship right there. Um, not really sure, so, hey. Um, alright, and then we have the, uh, the little booklet. Oh, here's your little player pieces back here. Um, just looking through here, some... Some past pictures. Um, oh, this is what the Mega Crate had in it. Ooh, I had a 3D printer. That's 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 pretty cool. Well, I'd be more excited about having the 3D printer than anything else in here. <laughs> oh, history of game controllers. So we start here with the Atari joystick. It's kind of cool. Oh gosh, Atari Jaguar. Is that for the, yeah, that was for the Sega Saturn. Um, first PlayStation control. Well, that's, that's the first. That's a DualShock controller. The <laughs> Wave Bird. Oh, gosh, those old Xbox controllers. Those were so clunky. Dreamcast controllers. Okay, so it goes back around this way. Wii remotes, Wii game pads, Xbox One controller. Huh. Oh, so apparently there was maybe different kinds of hex bugs that they had that you can get. Man, that would have been cool to get one of the zombie ones. Yeah, it's a 
these uh these cards for Firefly they unlock a a premium ship. So there was different artwork on the front, but it looks like they all maybe have the same ship. Okay, so here are the different items for the for the game board, and then there's the different player things. Okay, cool. Okay, so here's the you can't really see it, but here's the whole game board right here. Um, so you have the different different sliders, and you can go to different areas. The different players loot crates on here, and then the item pallets, then the um, the instructions for uh, for what the different dice mean. It says the instructions are on the last page of the magazine, but they're not. They're actually in a uh, insert. So. Hmm. Some decent stuff in this one. Um, So we got some dice and stuff. Let me check these out real quick. These sound kind of interesting. Sorry it's running so long, but there's a lot of cool things in here that I want to check out. Here's the rules. Separate the white backed card characters um, from the black backed cards, which are the attributions. Uh, one player starts by drawing three white cards and three black cards you can look at them but don't let anyone else look at them player two the next player to the left does the same each player chooses one white card and one black card from their hand to create a fighter and places these cards face down when then they discard the remaining cards into two separate piles one for characters one for attributes next both players turn over their cards and reveal their players or reveal their fighters. Each player then draws a random black card from the deck and adds it to the player or to their fighter. Uh, both players argue and plead their case about why their fighter would win the fight. Once the argument is done, the table votes for a winner. Continue to back. Uh, in the event of a tie, both players draw a random white card and fight to the death with no attributes. The table votes again. Do this until there is a winner, then discard the white cards from the tiebreaker fights. Winning fighter stays on the table for the next player to fight and will not get any new attributes on the next fight. The player who won the fight earns one point. Uh, next match player three. The next player to the left now creates a fighter to battle the winner from the last match. Following the same rules from fighter created above, the new fighter begins. Uh, the new fight begins after one fighter wins three matches in a row. They are retired, and a new player replaces them in the ring. The purple and blue cards, uh, blue are locations and purple are scenarios. Set these aside. Draw one, both, or none for each fight either before fighters are created or after to take them by surprise. Cards in this deck are exclusive to Loot Crate for the full 500 card Super Fight deck and tons of expansions. Visit superfightgame.com Okay, so these are all the fighters. Okay, these are the super fighters. Why'd they do that? Weird. Um, super fight. I guess this is a uh, create your own card thing right here since there's nothing on here. It's Derby Girl, Godzilla, uh, all kinds of different King Kong, Grizzly Bear, Prince Charming, Raccoon, the player on the right, uh, Hercules, uh, such 
Loch Ness Monster, Kaiju, Honey Badger, the Navy. So there's Star Lord, France King Arthur, Trapper, Handy Cheeks, Keanu Reeves, Iron Giant. And then there's the uh, their abilities. Can only be killed by a stake through the heart. And there's different abilities. Wearing a bubble wrap suit. Armed with a really, really bright armed with a really, really bright laser pointer. Riding a nuclear missile. Bitten by a radioactive draw a random character card. Armed with a lightsaber that has two smaller blades sticking out of the hilt. <laughs> um, using a using a blank as a club, so draw a random character club or character card. Then there's uh, what were the blue cards? The blue cards were uh, locations. So okay. Roller coaster, a desert island, and a desert island. And then the purple are scenarios, so all fighters armed with chainsaws, all fighters armed with gasoline squirt guns. <laughs> all, fire, all fighters are riding giant, and then you draw random cards. So that's kind of cool. Alright, so that's pretty much everything that's in this loot crate for this month. No shirt this month. Comes with a book, which is kind of nice. <laughs> Willy Wonka meets the Matrix, huh? And then comes with this little this little figure thing and then a hex bug. That's kind of cool. Uh, I'll probably be giving this out. I don't think I'm probably going to play this game. I'll see if anybody at work wants it. If nobody wants it, then uh, keep an eye out on my Twitter account because I will post it then there. So... Um, if you're following me on Twitter, then you'll find that code there, and the first to take it is the first to get it. So, uh, first come, first serve. Don't forget to check out my other videos, subscribe, follow me on Twitter. This has been Tambiotto, and I'll see you next time.